I figured I'd go live at the dog park. I have a theory about the dog park. The most dangerous thing in a dog park is the humans. It's all of our... This woman is just pontificating a bunch of information that is such bullshit to anybody that will listen. And that's the problem. Everybody's doing the wrong things. That's why they're not good. They're actually one of the most unbelievable tools for dogs like her and her who are able to move and socialize the way they need without the interference of the humans. So when people tell me dog parks are unsafe, no. People are unsafe. People are the problems. The dog parks are an amazing tool if they're used for what they should be used for, which is socialization. Not neurotic predatory behaviors. Not standing in one spot talking. It's for socialization. So when you see I go to the dog park, I keep moving. Because one of the huge problems people create is when they stop like this, it creates territory. And anyone that goes into territory is subject to threat. So when you continue to move, you create neutral territory, which then gives your dogs nothing to defend and also has to then make them split their mind between you moving and what's happening in the world. So please, please, please don't spread the bullshit that dog parks are bad. Uneducated people are the problem. Dog parks are wonderful if they're used appropriately just like any other tool. Tails are in good positions. Tails are in great positions. And right away they're following. So they're staying on the movement. God, this woman will not stop talking about. So much, just spreading so much nonsense. I want to ask her what she does for a living. Because, man, I know a little bit about accounting, but not enough to be telling people how to do their taxes. It's amazing how people can have like a little scratch of an itch of dog information and they will just preach on it with no proof. My one dog one time ago was wonderful, great. Look at her. Let's see what the woman does. Hopefully she doesn't reach out. There we go. She's able to walk away herself. Beautiful. This dog and Malcolm. They're trying to figure each other out. <laughs> oh, beautiful. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, the cute. I don't know, I don't think your mom's watching, little. Your mom's working today, man. Any questions, comments, problems? Let me see. Hi, everybody. Humans are humans. The most dangerous thing in the world. Yes. They are dangerous. The danger, like, I. Uh, so many other couple. These things are dangerous. This is like taking your kid to a pool party with an iPad. The fuck you need a tennis ball for at a dog park? It's for socialization. It's ridiculous. Here, kid, I'm gonna drop you off at this third grade birth party, a birthday party, and I'm gonna give you an iPad so you can sit and be by yourself. It's exactly what toys do at a dog park. Ridiculous. But they like it. 
but they like it. It's not the purpose of the dog park. If they like it, which they don't, you think that they like it because you like it, then go do it somewhere else. Don't do it a place that's social for socialization. They don't have football practices at the gym, do they? No, you go to the gym and you lift weights and you have football practice on another field. If you go to the dog park and throw tool, toys, you are part of the problem. You are not part of the solution, you are part of the problem. Because there's other dogs that are there for other reasons. Like these two. And then we use it appropriately. So even when they stop, I continue to move. They're like, are you my mom? Just kidding. That's what a normal person is. Okay, here we go. I'm a dog lover, and that's why the dog park is good, because she can walk away and she's not trapped on a leash. So she can solve it herself. Because of that, now look at her tail is tucked. Because of the humans. Malcolm is having a t- he's having a trip over here, isn't he? Every time you hear all right, just assume it's Malcolm. <laughs> they're like they're like, look at me. He's like, I can't, my air's in my face. <laughs> Reaching, not comfortable, rewarding an uncomfortable mindset. But because she's not on leash, she can do it herself. But need to touch. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think that's good. Alright. I think that's good for today. Perfect. Okay. Enjoying peace and rubber instead of hanging out with brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they kick Mr. Grumpy out. Is that Malcolm you call Mr. Grumpy? They're putting the pressure on him, boy. Galaxy. If there's ever a dog I could probably squish to death, it would be this one right here. But when you touch her, she's just like little skin and bones, and I just want to have extreme cute aggression against her face. <sighs> Let it go. And done. <laughs> Say bye to Teresa.